New York City is a popular tourist destination, luring thousands of visitors to this bustling metropolis. Many people come to see the bright side of New York City. However, it also has a dark side that fortunately few people get to experience firsthand. While recent studies suggest that homicides in New York are on the decrease, criminologists and the NYPD are still overwhelmed with unsolved cold cases going back decades. Advances over the years in modern technology have helped crack some of these cold cases over recent years, leading to the arrest of some perpetrators who thought they'd got away with their crimes. The following are six unsolved mysteries from New York City. Number 6. Anthony Urchuali Jr. In January 2001, a 31-year-old man by the name of Anthony Urchuali received a message on his phone inviting him to play a round of pool with a friend. Anthony told his parents he was going out and left shortly after midnight, informing them he would only be gone for no more than two hours. The next morning, his mother looked into his son's room and was surprised to see Anthony had never made it home. Anthony usually played pool at the local Sharks Pool Hall. However, no one at the hall had seen him there that night he went missing. More strangely, Anthony's car was discovered by police at a nearby parking lot near Spratt Park. No sign of a struggle was found and his wallet was still inside the vehicle. Investigators decided to explore the unknown person who had paged Anthony the night he disappeared but was unable to trace the contact. It has been years since Anthony vanished that cold winter night. His parents have never given up hope of one day finding him. They have appeared on countless TV shows, offered a reward for information, and have even hired psychics. Sadly, no new clues have developed, and the police are still baffled whether Anthony was murdered or decided to disappear on his own accord. However, one disturbing question still remains. Who contacted Anthony the night he vanished? Or did he make the phone message up as part of his disappearance? Number 5. Rashawn Brazell. One early morning on St Valentine's Day 2005, an unknown male knocked on the door of 19-year-old Rashawn Brazell, who was a gay African-American. Brazell lived in an apartment in the Bushwick section of Brooklyn and left with the mystery adult male. The two men were seen stepping onto a train at the Gates Avenue station before exiting at the Nostrand Avenue station in Bedford, Stuyvesant. Brazell had not planned to stay out the whole day as he was having lunch with his mother later that afternoon. However, Brazell never met his mother and could not be reached on his cell phone. Three days later, transit workers working in the tunnel of Nostrand Avenue Station discovered a trash bag. Inside the bag was the gruesome remains of Brazil's right shoulder, right arm and lower legs. More of Brazil's remains were found on February the 23rd in a Greenpoint recycling plant which included parts of his pelvis. Unlike other mysteries on this list, the case of Rashawn Brazil was sold in 2017 when Brazil's former neighbour, Quahara Govan, was arrested. Govan had a criminal history and had suspiciously moved to Florida after Brazil's murder. In 2014, he was imprisoned for an armed robbery conviction after DNA analysis linked him to more than one unsolved Brooklyn homicide. He was extradited to New York to face charges. Police claim Govan made false and evasive statements regarding Brazil's case and charged him with the murder. They believe that Gavan might be a serial killer. Number 4. Richard Colvin Cox On January the 14th, 1950, Richard Colvin Cox, who worked as a cadet at West Point Military Academy, told his roommates he had dinner plans with a friend named George at a hotel on the West Point grounds. That evening, Richard signed out of the barracks and left for the hotel in full uniform. 
and was never heard from again. After launching a full-on investigation, the Army and FBI failed to locate Richard. Some extreme theorists have since emerged, suggesting that Richard may have been kidnapped by the Soviets or had joined the CIA. The unsolved mystery is still sharply focused on finding out who the mystery man George really is. It is believed that George and Richard became good friends while stationed in Germany. Richard's roommate explained that Richard appeared surprised and somewhat upset upon finding out that George was in New York City. The investigators now speculated that Richard may have been involved with some shady activity in Germany. Another theory even suggests that Richard may have gotten a woman pregnant while in Germany before murdering her to keep her from having the baby. Other theories speculate that Richard and George may have been in a homosexual relationship and decided to abscond together. A known murder by the name of Robert Frisbee was stationed at West Point at the same time as Richard and apparently matched the description of the unknown man called George. Robert Frisbee was also known for selling forged IDs. Could Richard have brought a new identity from Robert Frisbee the night he disappeared to start a new life? To this day, neither of the men have been found and the case of Richard Colvin Cox will most likely remain unsolved. Number 3. Lorraine Snell On September the 25th, 1980, 19-year-old Lorraine Snell vanished after leaving her mother's home, located on East 39th Street in Brooklyn, to make plans for an engagement party at a restaurant in Midwood Terrace. A bartender was questioned at the restaurant and stated that Snell left with a man named James Burris, the estranged husband of Snell's cousin, Barbara. Tragically, Snell's body was discovered in the backseat of a car by New York City police. She had been strangled with a cable that was still left tied to her neck. Disturbingly, the station wagon she was found in had been parked behind a supermarket where James Burris had had previously worked. The night Snell went missing, Burris had robbed a cab driver and was serving time in jail, and detectives couldn't link Burris to the murder of the young woman. At one point, Snell's case files mysteriously disappeared, which slowed down the investigation. After the killing, Snell's mother Pearl was visited by Wayne Tennant, a district attorney investigator who confided that the NYPD were determined to find a daughter's killer. Tennant frequently reached out to Pearl with updates about the case. However, it surfaced that Tennant had never been assigned to the case, so why was he interested in her murder? To this day, Lorraine Snell's case still remains unsolved. Number 2 Sarah Fox On May the 18th, 2004, 21-year-old Sarah Fox left her apartment to go jogging at a local Inwood Hill Park and never returned. A week later, her body was discovered naked and badly decayed in a remote location of the Manhattan Park. More disturbingly, tulip petals and branches had been placed around the body which police believe was done in a ritualistic manner. Botanists confirmed that the plant material found at the scene originated elsewhere in the park which suggests the murderer was familiar with the area. A local artist and self-described clairvoyant Dimitri Scheinemann soon became the primary suspect. He would often roam the park and often scream obscenities at parkgoers. However, the Moscow-born man was never charged. However, Scheinemann's involvement did not end there. He claimed on live TV that he had seen Fox's killer in a dream, and even gave NYPD police a name of a man they'd already interviewed. To this day, Scheinemann claimed that the ghost of Sarah Fox talks to him. Investigators still believe Scheinemann is the real culprit, stating, We think it's him. There's no doubt that it's him. We just have to prove it. Number 1. Quinn Rong Wu On May 1997, 11-year-old Quinn Rong Wu left for elementary school in Henry Street, New York City, and never returned home. The little girl was discovered two weeks later in the East River. Quinn Rong had been strangled. Her family had moved to America just 80 months prior, and their daughter loved living in New York City 
and enjoyed eating breakfast with her friends at school. Because Quinn Rong's family lived only three blocks from the school, they let their daughter walk by herself. Investigators believe the young girl was assaulted before she was strangled and dumped into the river. Strangely, Quinn Rong's school bag and shoes remain missing. Could the killer have taken them as souvenirs? At one point, Quinn Rong's parents were suspects in the girl's death after they found out that another one of their children had died back in China. However, the parents were never arrested. Witnesses at a subway in the Lower East Side claimed to have seen a mysterious bearded man accompanying a young Asian girl. Detectives quickly worked the streets, conducting dozens of interviews. However, the search for the bearded man went nowhere. Quinn Rong's case has remained unsolved for 20 years. However, investigators have not given up hope of finding the murderer. <laughs>